comes the story of a hurricane And a temple hearts like crying tears in rain No love is lost or no sweet wisdom gained Construct the frame out of steel. We use one and a half inch square tubing, which you'll want to drill and measure before you weld. It'll be about thirty dollars in steel, roughly twenty feet. A little bit less than that, depending how you make it. It needs to be at least eighteen inches wide. It can be however long. For the axle, you're going to want to use a threaded five eighths beam with two nuts on both sides, separated by a lock washer. This will cost about twenty dollars total. The wheels are about seven from Harbor Freight. The axle is about six. This is a $70 disc brake. There's a rotor here, one inch bore, six inch rotor. Here's the caliper. It's not necessary, but it makes it a lot safer and more convenient to stop the line. You want to use one inch bore pillow boxes to fasten the axle to the frame. Um, use grade eight bolts to fasten it. It'll be about $15 for the pair. This is a fair lead, a fair lead kind of position is the line when it comes in, it's about $15 as well. And a wakeboard handle, preferably floating wakeboard handle, to so make it easier to find in the water. Roughly cheap, around $20 for the handle of mine, so you want to use static line. This is the spool, it has static line on it, it's am steel green, a 7 ths With the spool walls, the sprocket, the axle, and the hubs, it'll be about $50, plus the line is about $130, $120, so constructed our spool cover of diamond plate aluminum. This is 3 16 inch aluminum. It stays in that shape and uh, it works out pretty well. The black steel caps serve as great legs for the winch. Just bolt them on there and get about five dollars. The 6.5 horsepower Honda clone. It's a Predator engine. Here's our TAV, our torque converter. And this is a chain. Together we're running about $240 but we'll get the job done. Now it's preferable to have an 8 horsepower model. But uh, 6.5 will definitely work. As long as you get the RPMs up with this TAV, it will uh, it'll get you out of that deep water start. So that's what we're looking for here. Here's our winch put together without the end caps on it. As you can see, we have a little bit of red, just kind of there. Really care. It's a primer. It's called red oxide, red iron oxide. It's a steel primer. It's about two dollars and thirty cents a can. We have a black enamel top coat as well. Uh, this is what it looks like put together here. All components are on and fastened tightly with lock nuts and washers. And we've also recessed the chucks on the axle. Now it's important that you fasten each bolt. Um, there's a lot of vibration going through the frame of the winch with the motor. So if, if anything comes loose, it could be dangerous. So it's a safety concern to make sure things fasten tightly. Here it is. Anyway, that's all she wrote. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers, bye. <laughs>